of InfoWars destroys evidence related to Sandy Hook's suit. Motion says, Oh no, Alex, what are you doing? This this is hopefully not fake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm choking on the fake news here. Guys, we are going to talk about this, mainly because I think this is a complete load of crap, and I want to go through and talk about it and debunk it, because mainstream media is running this narrative like you've never seen before. And I think they have a very good reason why they want to do it. Um, well, they have a reason. It's not a very good one. But let's jump into the story. Let's debunk this piece of crap fake news. And uh, then I'll tell you why I think every mainstream outlet literally did a copy and paste of this article. But let's jump into it. Washington. Lawyers for the families of two Sandy Hook shooting victims are accusing the conspiracy theorist Alex Jones... Of his in and his Infowars media business of intentionally destroying evidence relating to the defamation cases against him, according to a motion filed on Friday in a Texas court. Mr. Jones has been sued by the families of nine Sandy Hill victims for spreading false claims that the 2012 shooting at the elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut, I believe, that killed 20 first graders and six adults was a government-backed hoax. And the families of the dead workers were actors. Of the dead were actors, sorry. Um, now, just on that, uh, obviously, full disclosure, Alex has walked these claims back in the past. Um, and I've saw mixed reports where he says it was a hoax or it wasn't a hoax. To be honest, look, at the end of the day, I think it's just the fact that he was just receiving information on the fly and he was a, a sh going off assumptions of what he had heard. Um, he was just running it through his head, speaking out loud while on air. Look, he does a four-hour TV show every day. So... Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I would say that people were calling in, were talking about it. He was playing devil's advocate, a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, as for the Sandy Hook thing, he has said that he does believe Sandy Hook happened. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, the, to me, this doesn't really hold up in court. Uh, they're, they're going after Alex because apparently some of his fans harassed them. Well, that doesn't mean anything for Alex. That you can't sue Alex for that, and for him talking about it, uh, it's covered by the First Amendment, I would say. So maybe you could do for defamation, but geez, that's going to be a hard slug. So that's why I reckon they're sort of going through with this narrative. But we'll talk about that in a sec. So let's keep going. Mr. Jones said on his broadcast last week that he had told his staff to delete material after CNN cited InfoWars content that violated Twitter's policy, according to the motion filed on Friday. Mr. Jones has been protesting an unprecedented effort this month by Apple, Facebook, YouTube and other services to remove InfoWars content from their platform for violating policies on hate speech, child endangerment and inciting violence. The child, and, uh, child endangerment was literally them showing a meme of a kid being pushed over. Complete fake news. Um, and citing violence is also fake news as well. I've seen the original clip. It's, it's fake. It's a load of crap. They're going on about him saying, get your battle rifles ready. He, he's talking about self-defense. He's not talking about going out and starting anything. Um, and at the end of the day, um, violating policies on hate speech. We'll prove, give a link, I suppose. I would like to see that, but yeah. At least some of the deleted content was considered evidence in the Sandy Hook cases. Mr. Jones had been informed in writing in April that he was obliged by law to preserve all relevant material according to the court filings in district court in Texas, uh, Travis County in Austin. As pressure mounted from pending defamation lawsuits and growing public indignation, Mr. Jones chose to destroy the evidence of his actual malice and defamatory conduct the motion filed on Friday said. InfoWars deleted critical evidence that the precious moment plaintiff and his experts were attempting to marshal that evidence. Uh, really? You, you didn't get the evidence beforehand? That's weird. If someone had broken the law, personally, I would have downloaded the evidence. Wouldn't you? Just 
Just saying, it seems like it's a, a very, very sloppy on the lawyer's part, or B, sounds like it's a complete load of crap, to be honest. But, hey, what would I know? That's just my opinion, right? The suit said that the that was not known how much content had been deleted. Oh, but you know some of it had been deleted. Really? You don't know how much has been deleted, you're just assuming that some of it has. Okay. But that included Twitter, written social media materials and videos. The motion was filed on behalf of Neil Hudson, father of Jess Lewis, a six-year-old killed at Sandy Hook by Mark Robson. Kyle Farah and William Oden, might be mispronouncing, and Farah and Ball in Houston. Over the five years since the shooting, families of Sandy Hill victims have been stalked, threatened, and subject to online abuse by Mr. Jones's followers, reportedly. So, not Mr. Jones himself. Right, cool. Um, after he spread false claims about the mass shooting, calling it a synthetic, completely fake with actors, in my view, manufactured according to the court documents. Like he said, in his view, it's his opinion. I'm pretty sure he is entitled to his opinion, whether you like it or not. Friday's intelligence came amid difficult times for Mr. Jones and InfoWars has become symbolic of a national conversation about online standards and so-called post-truth era in which false information spreads online to millions in minutes. Yeah, uh, I would say the major networks also do that as well. Uh, CNN, really good at fake news, but anyway. Mr. Jones peddles diet supplements, survivalist gear, and gun-related paraphernalia on radio broadcasts and videos that spread outlandish claims like government is trying to infringe on Americans' rights and destroy their health or control their minds. On Tuesday, Twitter suspended Mr. Jones for a week after he posted a link to a video calling for supporters to get their battle rifles ready, I'll talk to that in a sec, for a fight against the press and others, violating the company's rules against inciting violence. <sighs> More fake news. Okay, um, he didn't actually, I've already talked about this, but I'll go through it. I'll find the clip for you in a sec. Um, but yeah, he didn't actually call for people to get their rifles and to go out and hurt anybody. He was merely talking about if something does happen, if civil war does break out or or the government come or whatever it may be, be prepared. That, that was all he is simply saying. He is talking merely on a self-defense level. I've got the clip. I'll play that for you now. Congress is asleep at the switch, and this is the big issue. The president has tried. He's spoken some about how shadow banning is illegal. Twitter's just playing games with me right now to act like I violated their rules so they can go on the news and misrepresent what I've said and not show it. Jack Dorsey, you know Jones, says he wants to kill the media with guns. I know it's terrible, but I just I suspended him for it. So when they do finally ban me, it looks legitimate. I never threaten anybody with guns. It's a lie. I said, Antifa says they're coming to your house to kill Congress members and law enforcement. Have your firearms ready to protect yourself. That's the Second Amendment. But it's everything's like a big university now. So, yeah, you see in the clip. Yeah, I don't think there was anything personally wrong with this. But let's keep going. Uh, also this week, the Federal Communications Com uh, Commission shut down a pirate radio station that served as InfoWars flagship outlet. Okay, we've already debunked this. This is where, and they've literally, they know this is fake news, and this is where they've gone through and they continue to peddle the same lie. It wasn't InfoWars' flagship. Okay, uh, the pirate radio station had been broadcasting in over a year. It had been running for over five years. It was a small receiver that ran out of a, a building complex or a, a like an apartment building that just happened to broadcast Alex Jones' stuff. Alex probably didn't even know about Liberty Radio. So at the end of the day, I don't know how you coin this in his flagship outlet when he literally spends money buying satellite time. So... Alex Jones spending money to use satellite time, but some little radio tower that broadcasts for about a mile in an apartment building is his flagship. Really? You're going to go there. Like I said, I doubt Alex even knew about this Liberty Radio, and apparently they haven't been going for over a year. So I don't know why this is even 
And they know this is complete false. They know this is complete fake. It's been in the media that this has been just debunked. But this is what the media likes to do. They like to keep going through and repeating lie after lie after lie, repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, and hopefully people will start to believe it. I'm sorry. It is bullshit. You are fake news. Friday motion in the latest legal salvo in three separate defamation lawsuits filed by Sandy Hook families which seek tens of millions of dollars in damages and pose an external threat to Mr. Jones's business. Should the court find that Mr. Jones and InfoWars willfully destroyed evidence, he and his lawyers could assess thousands of dollars in fines and be subject to punitive action. Most important, the material that was destroyed could be presumed by the courts as supporting Mr. Hassan's claims against Mr. Jones's bolstering his case. Um, I'll, we'll deal with this deleting evidence thing in a sec. I just want to get through this article before I, you know, start having a hernia because of the fake news. But anyway, besides the two cases in Texas, the families of seven more and Sandy Hill victims are emerge uh, and emergency medical workers subject to harassment filed a separate defamation suit against Mr. Jones and his associates in May in Connecticut. The families are in large case are represented by Koskov, Kodosk and Broder, a Bridgeport, Connecticut firm that also represents Sandy Hook families in the lawsuit against Remington, the maker of the AR-15 style weapons used in the shooting. And if you went through, I would suspect that you would find that they have some leaks to George Soros or the Democrats. But anyway, that's my opinion. Uh, the first court appearance in the Sandy Hook lawsuit was in Texas this month when the, ho the court heard arguments that Mr. Jones motioned to dismiss the defamation case brought by Leonard Lepole and Varek de la, la Rosa, my British pronouncing, the parents of Noah Paraz, a six-year-old killed at Sandy Hook. A decision is expected early next month. The hearing is scheduled for an August 30 and Mr. Jones's motion to dismiss the second Texas case brought by Mr. Holson. A ruling on Friday's motion, allegedly destruction of evidence is expected before the 30th of August hearing. In recent interviews, Mr. Jones said he previously considered removing Sandy Hook related material from InfoWars archives, turning to Rob Dyer, another InfoWars personality. Mr. Jones asked him, how many years ago did I say take all that Sandy Hook videos down because I was tired of them, meaning his critics, editing them out of context. Uh, we had a big, uh, serious meeting about that, actually, Mr. Dry replied. But then I think at the end, we made the decision to leave the stuff here because we could go back and use it as our defense later, he says. Look, this is what they... This is what we really said. Right. So, why do I think they are running these campaigns at the moment? So, I, I think the mainstream media is worried that they're going to lose. And they're worried these Sandy Hook victims will lose against Alex Jones. So, as for him deleting stuff, um, no, I don't think Alex went through and deleted it. I reckon if Alex was going to go through and deleted it, he would have done it years ago. So, no, I don't think he did. If they're talking about stuff like the YouTube videos and stuff like that, then that was actually mainstream media are pushing pressure on YouTube, Spotify, all these sort of resources, all these sort of places that have gone through and deleted that stuff. That's not Alex. So at the end of the day, if you're going to make an argument that YouTube videos were deleted, that Spotify videos or audio were deleted, that, you know, that these tweets were deleted or whatever it may be, if you're talking about him being deplatformed, then that would actually go against CNN and mainstream media. Um, also, these platforms like YouTube and whatnot for deleting that content. Alex did not want to get deleted off YouTube. Right, he had 2.5 million subscribers. So at the end of the day, no, I don't think he actually went through and deleted any of this stuff. Um, why do I reckon they're running these stories? Because they're worried they're going to lose. And that would be my opinion. Um, at the end of the day, I think they're actually worried they're going to lose these Sandy Hook cases. And... They know that if they lose, Alex is going to broadcast it all over his show. It's going to be something like Infowars, uh, Infowars wins, or, or 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 something along those lines. He'll put he'll change his little Infowars band to 
Infowars Vindicated or something along those lines. And they're pr trying to set it up now so that he, quote, deleted evidence because they know their case is falling apart. And, and that would be my opinion. This is damage control in case later that court case goes against them and goes in favour of Alex. Uh, and this radio tower thing, it's just them trying to poison the well. This radio tower had nothing to do with Alex, except the fact that it used to play his radio station. Alex didn't, as far as we know, didn't know about the radio station. It's not his flagship radio station. And at the end of the day, he, he, he buys satellite time. Why would he bother putting up a little radio, or having a flagship radio station that broadcast for about a mile when he goes through and he buys satellite time. Doesn't make any sense to me. And, and like I said, we've busted this this fake news already. Um, and, and as for Alex, look, good luck with the court case. I, I, I think it's a quick case of, of First Amendment. I, I don't think it's defamation. And, and I tell you now, I don't think Alex harassed anybody. Uh, you want to go after his followers for doing it? Sure, I suppose. But that's not Alex. And he's not responsible for his followers. Apart from that, guys, look, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Why do you think they went after Infowars? Do you think that this article is sort of setting it up in case they lose? Do you think this is sort of them doing a little bit of damage control? They're going to turn around later and say, Oh, look, he deleted evidence so we couldn't prove anything. Or, or do you think at the end of the day, the fact is, is that, that this is... Infowars actually deleting evidence. I, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.